Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dust and Elysian Tale. I am Kalukin Dragoon and in the last episode we went looking for treasures. As many treasures as we could possibly find and we did find quite a few. I almost got. So we've managed to finish up a couple areas. Uh, this one was the last one for this section of the caverns and it's actually right above where we found the last one. So, that makes it relatively easy to find. So now we have, let's see, where are we at in here? 65% found. Yeah, you can see there's still a lot of treasures to find throughout the rest of the caverns. But don't worry. We will find a way. But I will see you guys in the next area when I find the next treasure. So, see you there. This should be, I believe, the entrance to an area I haven't been to yet. Uh, I gave up on the other one because I believe I'm actually missing not another one of the trails. I believe I'm actually missing one of the moves that I would require to get to it. So I'm going to hold off on that. And we're going to go ahead and do this trial and see if we can find the treasure that is hidden somewhere in here if I can get through. Come on. I'm already somewhat upset at having to leave that other one behind. Jeez, oh, Pete, this place looks more like a death trap. I was looking at I don't get seriously hurt from burns. At this point, I'm already out of time. I might as well just keep <laughs> looking for all the remaining, getting all the remaining stuff. You know, there really isn't a good way to go through this, is there? If I had to put a guess on where I think it would be, though. I think I'd put on it being where that last lantern is. Up there, maybe. Yep, there we go. That was not what I was looking for. I'm not seeing another way around here. So. Let's go ahead and finish. Enough for three stars. It looks to me like just getting the lanterns will give you at least three stars and everything. But you have to get like all the lanterns in time to get the last one. All right, so that did it. That's uh, actually a really good upgrade for me on my neck. Up my attack, up my defense, up fidget, up my luck. And that takes care of the treasure here. So we're going to go ahead and head on out of here. And let's see. Can't go that one, so straight over. All right, I will see you guys in a little bit. 
Okay, so here is the treasure for this area, and actually you have to go up and over and around to get to this one, so be wary of that. But along with giving me a key, as you see, I also found the last Gabby sheep. So, now that also means when we get to uh, Mud Pot Village, I can also turn that quest in. So, I will see you guys in the village, I believe, is actually next. So, I'll see you guys there. Alright, here in the village. Now, now I just need to find your bow pop. I think I need to go up. To find our favorite farmer. You? Oh no, you're the red moss. You. Yes, here we go. <laughs> Deep pockets. Okay, so that completes that quest. And I got wool for it, I guess? But, alright, so... I believe the treasure that leads out of here is one that I'm going to have to come back and get. I don't think I can get that from here, so I'm going to head over and see about getting the treasures that are over in this direction. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I found the treasure, and to get to it, I'm gonna need this bomb. And a little bit better timing, apparently. Actually, I think. Can I draw? There we go. Alright, that takes care of the treasure for this area, which is way over there. And I'm going to start waking my way back, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so that's what... So over here was the red moss. That's what was hidden down here. So I've got that, so that means I can also turn in the other quest that I picked up that also goes into Mud Pot when I get back. So I will... See. Oh, let's just keep... We still got a little bit of treasure left to find and another area to see. So we'll try to get those done first and foremost. And I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, and here's the treasure for this area. Yep. I remember this one. This might be one I need to come back to as well. I'm going to give it a shot. Let's see, maybe my double jump. But my guess is that the ability, the final ability to get, just might be what I need to do with this. Yeah. I'm going to wait on this one. I'm going to come back to it a little bit later. get that one ability, but in the meantime, there's supposed to be another area here that I have not yet accessed. So I'm hoping I can find out how to access it, or maybe that's another thing to do with this final skill. So I think I'm gone anywhere. I can go with my t current skills and abilities. So the next area is an up. So this I'm hitting the ceiling on. I'm not hitting the ceiling here, but of course there's no way to go up. 
So it looks like I am more or less done in the caverns actually for right now. Uh, except I do need to go back to the village, which should be just right on over here, and get the uh, turn in the ferns so that I have that quest done. Then I'm kind of thinking what I might just do is actually go to the uh, next area, the Moonblood encampment and go there because there I know I can get the uh, a resonance stone that I need to get a different treasure. I can should be able to find and get the uh, final skill that I'm looking for there as well. All right, let's turn this in. Alright, and so that completes that quest line. So now we have a bunch of finished quests. And the only thing that we have left on this one is the uh, is the main quest. Yeah, I know there's treasure here. But I think the final skill is supposed to be like a super jump type stick. So what I'm pretty sure is going to happen with that one is I'm going to jump here and then I get sent flying high into the sky. Alright, first things first, let's get on out of here. So now we've done quite a bit, like, I've almost explored all the caverns, I've almost got all the treasure. I've got all the treasure in a couple of areas. I don't have everything in Sorrowing Meadow. I don't have all the treasures in Archer's Pass, but that's because I need a um, I need a resonance gem. And so the ones left are the Sorrowing Meadow, Blackmore Mountains, and the caverns along with Archer's Pass, and then of course the new area, which is Everdon Basin, which is where I'm going to go now, and we're going to get started in here on Chapter Five, Legend. And so we start off right here at the Moonblood Camp. I'm going to go for a little bit. I'm not 100% sure exactly how long. Whoop. Ooh, how nice. People are being nice to me. It's always better when people are nice to me. I don't know exactly how long I'm going to go for because I do have the editing I have to do to take some of the stuff out. So it's hard to tell on episodes like this. Like the previous episode, I cut out over 20 minutes.
<laughs> Oops. So, hi, Ginger. What was I saying before? So here we are finally in the Mud Blood Village. Moon Blood. Why do I keep saying Mud Blood? level up. You know, running around recently has given me, I've leveled up multiple times just running around collecting treasures. i pump this one into my offensive capabilities and we're going to go down. So we're going to go down here and take a look and see what we shall see and move very fast about it. Because I am standing over a lava field. And of course we get some new enemies here. But they are also pretty easy. Especially with the last couple of levels that we, I've gotten. I've managed to put a decent amount of power into my uh, offensive capabilities. So I'm pretty well off at the moment now obviously that could change very quickly like when I took on the soldiers but the soldiers I, I give them credit most of the time the AI in the game has been a little bit random not really I'm just looking for treasure at this point not really uh, 
super intelligent, the way you would expect wild animals to kind of behave. But the soldiers were pretty good on defending and getting behind me. Something you would expect a military troop to do. Well, that was nice of you. Okay, so I can go through there, but I think that's the way back. So actually, I want to go up here instead. I'm assuming this is one of the generators. There we go. So, that was pretty creative. I didn't expect to have uh, one of Fidget's old skills come in useful there. All right, so let's go ahead. Now we've got the water running. How they're supposed to be. <laughs> I'm looking for treasure. There's supposed to be a treasure somewhere in this room. I want to find it. There. So I got a treasure key. So that was one of the treasures. There's still something else left in this room. I'll get to that here in a minute. There we go. You're all out. Nothing else. No other treasures down here in this room. So just that middle one. Oh, I'm going to be doing platforming here, aren't I? Oh, th there we go. Ah, shucks. Missed the jump on that one. I don't know how close to this lava field I can actually get. That's not how it comes out pretty far. That one's only half, but there we go. Alright, I'm up here, so here's the other generator. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I kind of guessed this after the last one. Okay, so those are back up. But I'm more interested in trying to find out where that last treasure here could possibly be. Okay, I'm going to take one last look I like this I didn't see anything so my guess is it's probably is on the side but in order to reach it I'm gonna need to use this elevator
could be completely wrong about this too, but I mean, I haven't seen it anywhere else. I didn't see it anywhere that direction either. Hmm. I don't know. Probably one I have to take a look at later too, I think. Says it really doesn't make sense to have all these enemies here. There's a treasure here somewhere. With all my recent treasure hunting, it kind of bugs me to leave an area without finding all the treasure. That's another one of those ones, though. Where it's, it's like what I've discovered is you can kind of find most, if not all, of the treasure in an area just by exploring everything, but... But I think this is gonna be, that's... I'm gonna have to be going back through a lot of the stuff to try and find, uh... Some of the treasures, try to get 100% of everything here. How about if I go down this way? Ah, treasure chest! I found something that makes me feel better. King crab legs, impressive. Okay, but I wanted to. I don't remember what it was I just picked up. Here it is. Magma mantle. It does increase my defense and my luck. So I could purchase that. And I need four of those. And I can get four of those. So let's go ahead and make this. And equip it so now my defense and my luck are even higher. And I found the treasure for this area, so that just makes me feel oh so much better. Uh oh. That's a soldier. Yeah, I can't leave here. As always, the local creatures are proving a continuous nuisance for us scouts. If it helped if everything here wasn't protected on fire. Uh, I suppose somebody on the watch for warm blood soldiers, but I haven't seen or heard anything. I thought I heard voices coming from the east earlier, but I'm sure that was just my imagination. Uh, nope. Sorry, old boy. It appears they have cloaking. bothers me to have to try and fight against a uh, invisible opponent just because it's so like annoying to do so I'm willing to bet that's where my treasure is although there have been a couple of years like this one's not too bad fighting against invisible enemies because it's pretty easy to see where they are but there have been other ones where I fight against invisible enemies, and it's like the only time you can see them is literally after they've hit you, and that just bothers me.
the soldier. <laughs> For a second there, I thought it was somebody else's fight. But I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode here, guys. In the next episode, we'll be possibly going forward, possibly going back. I haven't 100% decided, actually. But either way, I will see you guys later. Take care, and thanks for watching.